Humph. Steve Jobs, Bill Gates, Markiplier, Draw with Jazza, Lavender Town. Seems like success plays favorites nowadays. All you need is for the universe to smile upon you at random and poof, you've got it made, am I right? Wrong. Hello, my fluffs. I'm your friendly fluff dragon, and welcome to Fluff Dragon Art, where I help creatives from all walks of life go from starving artists to making a viable living doing what you love. If you love art and want to kick the struggling artist stigma between the legs, hit that subscribe button and notification bell to stay up to date on all my tutorials, live streams, and other awesome content. I saw a tweet from the YouTube platform the other day encouraging its creators to not overwork themselves and featuring the wonderful talents of Jaden Animations. However, the YouTube platform, in spite of their hard, albeit sometimes misguided work, gets ripped up one side and down the other by a mob of offended small creators. Why are they offended? Because the algorithm requires them to get this work. The horror. The horror. The horror. Look. I could soften this message with little virtual pets on the back and rainbows and kittens and butterflies, but I've seen a lot of other YouTube specialist channels do this and apparently it isn't getting the message across. So you're getting nothing but the hard cold truth from me. Why? Because I care more about your success than your feelings. You aren't going to succeed unless you work hard and work smart, period. No excuses. A YouTube channel may seem effortless, but like a seemingly simple character design, there's a whole slew of processes, learning curves, study, audience research, and knowing one's strengths and weaknesses that goes on behind it. The good news is that you have people here to help you avoid those typical pitfalls that so many would-be entrepreneurs fall into. Let's get into it. First and foremost, when building a business, do not do it for the attention or if you think it will get you rich fast. If you get too hung up on views, likes, and comments, you'll get burnt out. If you get too hung up on how much you're earning in the first year, you'll get burnt out. Instead, ask yourself what you're passionate about. What has been and always will be part of your life? Draw that. What is your favorite thing to draw? Draw that. What do you need to work on in your art? Draw that. The more you challenge yourself, the more you learn to really enjoy what you do, the more likely you'll be able to handle the challenges of being an entrepreneur. Look, the chances of your first approach at being an entrepreneur succeeding are slim. So have a backup plan. Have five backup plans. Don't quit your job at McDonald's until you're steadily earning just as much of an income from your venture. Be smart with your money. Limit the amount of conventions you attend until your audience is begging you to attend a particular few. Don't go out and purchase the latest and greatest supplies until it fits within your business budget. I've been drawing on my phone and using Crayola colored pencils for ages, as I'm not quite at the stage to where I can purchase that 22 Cintiq I've been drooling over for two friggin' years. So be smart, but be hopeful too. Know what you want and keep that in your mind as the start and end of every day. Knowing your goals and having hope that you'll reach them keeps your chin up during the frustrating, disheartening times when you don't have any likes or you post your commission menu and people tell you your prices are too high even though your art is top notch, or your video gets insulting comments, or no comments, or a fraction of your subscribership and views. I don't want to hear that you don't have any strengths. That's bullcrap. Even if you think your art stinks right now, perhaps your strength is working hard and persevering. Perhaps your strength is in marketing, or that you have an engaging personality, or that you care about people a lot. Find and identify these strengths and build on them. Emphasize them in your work. Learn to look at what you've created and say, yeah, I made that. That's pretty cool. Where are you struggling in your art business right now? Is it in commissions, followers, audience engagement? Learn to ask for what you want. People won't give you something for nothing though. You need to offer value. You need to show them what your work is worth. This is why believing in what you do is so important. Because if you don't believe in what you have to offer, no one will. I know what it's like to not have much self-confidence. So whenever you're tempted to tweet, post, record anything negative about your work, 
I want you instead to catch that negativity and tweet, post, record what you do like about it. Or if nothing else, show the bad work and say, that's the beauty of art. I can always try again. Your positivity will be contagious and spread like wildfire across your platforms. Being an artist means you have a business. Having a business means that you're in for all kinds of hard work. Working hard means there are going to be times when you question whether what you're doing is worth it. It may take years before you're making more than what you'll get in a part-time job. But keep your head up. You'll make it through. For more information on how to stay positive during difficult times, I'm making another video that will go into this in depth. Being an entrepreneur is a lot of hard work and dedication, and I know that you are up to the task. But what are your thoughts? Comment below with the timestamp of your favorite part of this video and tell me why you loved it. I want to hear from you. A special thank you goes out to my patrons, Gigabit the Saved Gamer and Hard Brock Life. I couldn't keep creating these videos without your wonderful help and support. If you would like me to list your name here or gain access to patron-exclusive entrepreneur trainings and live streams, click on the link in the description below. Until next time, stay fluffy, my friends.